Cruzy, I just gave you a bath, bro. <laughs> Seriously, buddy, like 10 minutes ago, you got out of the bath. 10 minutes. Can you stay clean for like, come on. <laughs> well, you make for good content, buddy. What's up you guys? I'm back here at J5 Custom Vans on the island, boring a little piece of the shop here so I can uh, do a little bit of work on the ambulance today. I think we're just gonna try and get some of this adhesive sticky stuff and some of the vinyl stickers off of the outside today. You never know, maybe we'll start tackling a little bit of the interior cleanup because there is a lot of stuff to do. I'm coming, Cruz, I'm coming. Cruz is like, let me start the video, Dad. Hey, I can't forget the star of the show. Hey, buddy. Hey, don't worry, buddy. <laughs> He's like, you gotta start the video off with me. <laughs> Some of the products we're gonna use uh, is this grease and wax remover from Duplicolor. Um, there's not much left in this container. I bought this one when we painted my Ford E250 that I'm living in right now. And uh, I used this one as like a final wipe down before I painted it. But the, since it's empty, I bought myself um, kind of the same thing, but from but from another company. So um, yeah, let's hope uh, let's hope these things work just to kind of pull some of the surface glue off. And for all the surface glue that we can't wipe off, I grabbed myself this big eraser. It's literally just a it's from a company called Protec. It's like a giant eraser. I bought it at a local parts store. Um, <laughs> and it just spins and it supposedly takes off vinyl lettering and adhesive. All right, so Jackery the other day sent me through this giant battery. It's a big one, look at it, compared to my hand, look how big that is. <laughs> this is the fun part about the Jackery is you get to find out what devices run because it shows you right there on the screen. So it looks like this thing pulls 280 watts when you first start it up, but after it's running, it pulls about 175, which means we could run three of these on here. Does anybody want to bring your drill over and come, come help me do this today? Because this thing could definitely power all of us for sure. Some of the stickers we have to get off are these. Um, I'm not sure if this is just going to pull it off if we need to heat them first, but uh, yeah, those babies have been on there <laughs> for a little while. It's working out pretty good. It's just hard to film because I, <laughs> I need two hands on this thing, but these things are actually coming off quite well. That eraser wheel is getting smaller and smaller with every pass. <laughs> That's what all this stuff is. Look at it, it's everywhere. It's all from the eraser. Look at this. Most of that stuff's the yellow from there. <laughs> right, I'm gonna soak the rag down with this stuff here. Like literally just soak it. Sorry guys, this one's been a hard one to film because, you know, I need two hands. Uh, it's coming off pretty good here. I think that's probably about as best as I'm gonna do. I think when the ambulance gets painted or vinyl wrapped or whatever I do, um, this stuff just needs probably a good sanding, I think. You can see where it says life support on the side. That's the glue we're gonna be tackling. And also some of the glue around the letters here, you can still see it.
There was a little reflector here on the corner. Got the glue of that one off. This side still has the little reflector. It's the strong version of this product, and it smells delicious. <laughs> you hear that? I hear cattle. <laughs> I've been to the shop here many times, and I've never heard cattle. I just finished wiping this off. That's what that side looks like. Just wiping it with this product, man, and this works great. Like, see you later, glue. Nice knowing you. Look at that, watch this. <laughs> this stuff is great. I see something though. <laughs> I'm sure I'm glad that somebody took off a majority of these decals because this stuff was written everywhere before I owned it. <laughs> this would have been way bigger of a job for sure. Mr. Cruz didn't want to be outside, so he was barking at the side of the van because he wanted to come sleep in the front seat. <laughs> He's so cute, buddy. I'm, pretend, I'm pretending like this is a lot of hard work. This is really good. So I bought this at the store the other day. It's black bean salsa mix. It's really, really good. This is what I've been eating. <laughs> salsa. And some chips. From Fort Wentworth, Texas. I got some subscribers there, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> What's up, Fort Wentworth? This is the first obstacle we're running into. And that is getting these windows these ones this tape is going to be one heck of a job to get off oh look at the residue behind oh my this is going to be so gross so one of the first big undertakings we're going to do on here is to try to find someone to remake a few of these windows the four taped up ones here are the ones that are cracked and leaking so we're looking for a place that does plastic molding. I guess what they do is they would take this window, throw another piece of, of uh, plexiglass over it, heat it, and then vacuum suck it into form so we can have matching windows. So if any of you out there know somewhere in the Vancouver, Vancouver Island area, or somewhere close anyway that does this kind of stuff, let me know because I would love to get these things all redone. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, look at the stuff. If you have a leak, don't put this stuff on here. This stuff is the worst. That stuff is brutal. It's coming off all the way along the bottom. It came right out. Somebody want to come over here and hold my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing? It's looking pretty good, you guys. It's looking pretty good. These windows are completely destroyed. They are cracked all over the place. Look at them. When you push on them, you can tell it's got no structure left. Hopefully we can find someone to uh, custom do these new windows for us. If not, maybe we might just have to kind of fill these in or... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's coming along pretty good though. Here's the moment we find out what's inside of here.
Let's see. Uh oh, we might have to pull these out. Wires, baby. Ton of room in there, dude. This is a massive amount of space. Yeah. It's just not even used. So what I did in uh, one of my vans, it had a fiberglass front on it, yeah. like the wind nose thing. Yeah. Same thing. I cut inside the van. I cut it open. It's cool. There's so much room out there. Yeah. And that was the only reason why I like that little shelf back there. Yeah. Now we got a giant one. Yeah, guys, so there's some silly little things up here in the dash, like here, this whole bottom part of the dashboard has been cut out. You know, maybe replacing this whole dash piece is an option. I kind of really, that seems, John John says it's no big deal. <laughs> seems like a huge deal to me. There's so much to be done in here, um, but opening this thing up and seeing the amount of space that there is above here that's not utilized, um, we are going to put a shelf up there so we can use all that stuff up there for storage space, which opens up a massive amount. <laughs> I'm getting very excited about this thing. Very, very excited. Some things we gotta... I was originally thinking about keeping this cabinet because I thought this was kind of awesome. But after looking at the space in here and realizing how much room there is behind here and how awesome it would be to maybe swivel this front seat, that would open up a massive amount of room in here. So, looks like we're gonna be getting all this, this out, all this stuff up here. All that bracing back there is gonna have to be cut out. That's a metal wall. Oh, that might that might even be able to stay there actually. We'll lock for the pocket door, I guess. This ginormous old school inverter is coming out of here. Um, we don't need no archaic technology. Yeah, man, wiring just all over this ambulance. Something cool happened the other day and I love having a YouTube channel for this. My first two videos went up about me buying this ambulance and then I got an email from somebody saying, hey Chrome, I'm the guy that took apart most of the wiring in that ambulance. I'm like, what? He sent me pictures of all the wiring he pulled out. So this stuff you see here, oh yeah, this was 10, 15 times more wiring in here. Um, I'll try to drop the picture right there. Yeah, whoa, right? <laughs> That's, that is one pile of spaghetti of wires. Insane. But it was pretty cool to get a piece of history on this ambulance. A piece of history that most people don't get to get to see when they buy something used. But because we have the YouTube channel, it was awesome that someone's like, hey! And uh, also connected me with the guy that did the 4x4 conversion in this thing. And apparently the 4x4 conversion was only done like maybe approximately a year and a half ago. So the, it's all fairly fresh, which makes me feel awesome that I got a pretty damn good deal uh, on this ambulance. Um, but pretty cool, man. Um, so I'm going to dig into this a little bit more. Um, talk with the guy that did the wiring a bit more. Uh, he told me what the green tape was for and what the black tape was for. <laughs> he kind of walked through. I might have to give him a phone call and go through it. I'm pretty sure like... The green ones were for tail, no, the black ones were for all the taillight markers. Green ones were, uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, but pretty awesome that we actually got a little tiny piece of history uh, on this ambulance. I text the 4x4 guy today, so hopefully he'll get back to me and me and him can get a chance to uh, get, on, get on a phone call and see what kind of more history I can find out about this ambulance. Um, I think what I'm going to do is take another day and just start start pulling all this stuff out. Just slowly start gutting this thing down to the bare walls. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of work to be done. And then pile it all up here in the middle and then make a, make a trip to the, make a trip to the transfer station and, uh, start getting rid of some stuff. Take, 
take some of the aluminum and things like that to recycling as I can. Probably leave this big beast inside the ambulance. Cool. Go. Looks a whole lot better. We got a whole ton of that glue off. All around the windows have been taken off. I took off all of that plastic up there, and there still is some of it on the windows, which I'm gonna have to take the wheel to it again and just kind of give it a good once over. <clears throat> I'll probably do that tomorrow. Definitely not gonna be doing that today but it came out way, way better than I thought it was going to. Needs a bit of a wash now, but yeah, man, if it was really good, like there's no bumps here before, you could see where the letters used to be, before you could just like feel all that stuff on it. it turned out pretty good, guys. Probably covered in that eraser stuff. I'm probably covered in that eraser stuff. There's never a quiet day walking around with this guy. We ain't gonna be sneaking up on anybody anytime soon, that's for sure. We ain't gonna go very far. <sighs> Smell those. My goodness. How you feeling, Cruzy? Are you better now? Better that we're not walking around? This has just been dangling here and it's been really annoying me. I'm not the person to stay in the same area for too long, let alone sleep in the same town for too long. But since we're doing some work out here, I've been sticking around this area. Um, I'm gonna work on the ambulance one more day tomorrow. I'm just gonna get some stuff done on the inside so I feel like at least we're making some progress because <laughs> pulling the stickers off and some of that didn't feel like it really made any progress but i think doing some stuff to the interior of it is going to change the way i feel uh it's chaotic in there and i don't know what's what where's where because all i can see is a mess so we're going to try to pull some of that stuff out tomorrow then i think we're going to take our home here and go shove it back in the bush just up outside of town from here and go do you hear that it's a slurp machine down there. <sighs> All right. I felt like I had a hard day at work today. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, and by the way, that Jackery battery completely held up. I think when I threw it in the ambulance, we started at 73% on the battery. When I threw it in the ambulance, it was only at like 60% or something. <laughs> it was a rock star today. And that thing charges super darn fast. Anyway, we're going to go... We're gonna go in there. I feel like a hobo. I'm seriously sitting here on the side of the road. Thankfully, nobody can see inside of my van because it looks super presentable. Look at that. You drive by and you're like, oh, that looks like a fun rig. But if you were to walk by this side, you'd be like, oh, wow, look how nice this thing is. Look how nice this. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need think I need a maid. <laughs> Uh, anyway, guys. Oh, a little update. The shovel that I put up here, uh, it is solid. These things haven't come loose at all. These little 
rhino rack shovel mount things. Hey, it was awesome. And when I climbed up on the ladder today, believe it or not, I actually used this as part of my leverage and something to hold on to when I was up there. I love it that when you do an upgrade on your van and things turn out to be multi-use. I just thought that was just gonna be a shovel holder, just in case I need a big long shovel one day. Turns out to be multi-use because now it gives me something safe to hold on to so I don't go whoop, whoop. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, thanks for riding along with us today and hopefully you guys are just as stoked about this ambulance journey as me. I'm stoked, but yet I'm a little bit <laughs> nervous. That's why I think we should go out and play in the backcountry here for a few days before we get to deliver the ambulance to the mechanic. That's coming up soon. I'm worried. No, I'm not worried. It's a 7.3 diesel. I heard those things are like bulletproof, kinda. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Oh, by the way, we're in Shimanis. All those cute little pictures of town. This is the adorable little town of Shimanis. It has got character hidden all over. Oh my God.